Welcome to my channel, my name is Emily and I make homeschooling videos with my five-year-old daughter Rosie. Um, today I'm just going to quickly answer three questions that I did cover in my last video, um, but I'm just going to go over them quickly. Um, common homeschooling questions, things like, do I need to tell anyone? If you've deregistered your child from school, yes you do, you need to tell the school or you will get fined. Um, and I'm not sure if there's new rules because of COVID now. If you're already homeschooling and your child is not in the system, you do not need to inform anyone. Two, do you need to follow a curriculum? No, but there are some out there and Twine Follow is a website that supports the school curriculum. If you want to keep the option of putting your child back in school at some point, you can create your own, you can unschool, YouTube the channel, YouTube um, homeschooling styles and see what suits your family would be the best advice there. And three, how do I get my child to socialise, which is the most ridiculous one completely, as long as your child is going to groups, either co-ops, gymnastics, cubs, brownies, whatever, as long as they're going somewhere like that, they're going to see other kids, they're going to socialise. It's the least thing that homeschoolers worry about. We're more worried about uh, how are they going to get their GCSEs and how much your exam is going to cost outside of school than we are, how are we going to socialise our kids. So I hope that helps cover those three questions. Do get used to the socialisation one note because people who don't know much about homeschooling that is their first concern um we don't keep our kids locked in cupboards under stairs and we let them out they all go to groups of some sort so they're all fine socializing so we're just going to get into our week this is how our week breaks down into subjects with my little girl we are a mixture of unschooling unit work when it suits us and a little bit of formal learning just for the things that i feel she does need to know at this age but at the moment it's mostly life skills which includes reading and writing and um just generally having fun and getting to know nature and what we enjoy out of life. So I hope you enjoy our video. Okay, Rosie's been using an app on her tablet to make a story. So what are you going to call your story, baby? I thought we'd show you what she was doing. Okay, she's just hit random buttons, okay. Okay then, that's it, that's great. All right, let's watch your story. It's a movie. Mm. In the Sunburst Parks. Festival Silver. Jessie's pretending to be Rosa Parks, is she? And, oh, is it Festival Silver, right? One day, Jessie saw a spaceship headed right toward her. That <laughs> <laughs> was that was it. A giant roar till the spaceship turned around. That's a good roar. <laughs> no, that's just like a baby tiger. That's a good roar. Jessie did it again. She's the best ever cowgirl in the land. Wow. That's a good story. Well done, baby. So we're going to try and piece together this Roman story, which is cutting and gluing practice. Barbie, not towards your fingers. And try not to cut out the words or we won't know what the story is. Don't worry. If you need help, do say okay. Because we do need to better read what it says. But she's done her C's and she's done another page of her magical maths. She's going to do some reading. Our friends have cancelled on us today that we were supposed to be going out with because they're not feeling very well. So We are going to find something else to do, but we are going out tomorrow as well, so we might have a chilled out afternoon and just get our school work done this morning and get some exercise this morning.
game sort of thing in Wilco's a while ago. And it's about habitat. So Rosie's going to put the animals in the correct habitat. It's Wilco's little steps. the video useful we've done quite a few where we break down day-to-day -day things we do into subjects our formal learning um i've also done videos on um the books i've created for rosie or the ones i've picked up in like wilco's or home bargains we do do reading every day we do do writing every day and we do do a little bit of maths every day um just so she can learn how to write the, the basic stuff so she's still very little so none of it's forced at the moment she generally doesn't need forcing sometimes she just won't want to do like a whole page or something but i'll always insist once we've started the page that's it we finish it unless there's a particular lot on it um so she knows where her boundaries are for pushing but she's more learning about different life skills and we're following her interests at the moment which is nice um but it's also scary because I am from the teaching trade and unschooling is a scary thing to do when you're used to a curriculum and formal learning being the main way we think of learning. We don't think of learning outside of sitting down at a desk. Um, children are always learning. So as long as we're watching them, seeing what interests them, facilitating them, then don't worry too much. And if you're worried whether you're doing enough with ch your child... You probably are because you're worried about it. If you're not worried if you're doing enough with your child, it's either because you know you're doing plenty or maybe you should be asking yourself if you're doing enough. But you probably are, and it's a scary time for everyone who doesn't want to send their kids back to school at the moment, but you've got this. You taught your kids how to walk and how to talk and all that stuff when they were babies. You've still got it now. So, um, yeah, we hope we're encouraging you on your journey and I hope you're enjoying following ours. For now, it's Tata from me and Tata from the Rosie Bear.